balance in our life. I've spoken so much about it, but how do we get there? According to me, the most important thing that you need to do is learn to be open-minded and second, unlearn a lot of things that we've consciously and subconsciously imbibed. I'll give you an example so that you can understand. When we come to this world as a small baby, we're a blank sheet of paper. It's our parents, the socioeconomic status, the religion that we're born in, the country, the neighborhood, the school that we go to, the friends that we make, that help us decide and program our mind and body into believing certain things. And if you've noticed, that's not in your control. There's so many things that are not in our control. And this subconscious belief in so many things can sometimes not be beneficial to us. So the most important thing to find balance is to reevaluate and to introspect everything that we're blindly believing and to check if it's actually beneficial to us and the people around us. Your social construct, your religious beliefs, your cultural uh, practices, uh, the things that you say to people, the way you treat other people, the way you look at situations, the way you react, your overall thought process and actions need to be reevaluated to see if it's really been beneficial to what you want to achieve in life or how you want to be as a person. And at the end of this, what I would also like to share with you is that we like and want to believe things that we think are good for us. But what exactly do we believe when we don't know what is good for us? And to end this, I just have a very small request for each one of you. In everything that you think and do, in everything that you aspire and achieve, in everything that you have and let go of. Always maintain a balance. Because it is only when the scale is balanced that you can find the true value and worth of something. Thank you.